Hey there, this is TC Made with TC Gaming. Just wanted to go through a real quick clarification on a tutorial video for the uh, Mixamo animation retargeting. And uh, basically this is going to use the third person example. So if you create a third person example with starter content, it doesn't really matter if you have starter content or not, but if you start one, you should have folders like this, which come with a mannequin, and under the character mesh section you would see your UE4 mannequin skeleton. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to my Google Drive. I'm going to give you this link, and in here you're going to download this file called uemxmannequin.fbx. This is an Unreal Engine mannequin that's um, basically they've removed the root bone so that you can use this on Mixamo. I didn't create this. I found this out on the internet and loaded it up to my drive so it would be in a spot where it would be easy to share it with other people. So basically once you do that, you're going to download that file. And then you're going to go into Mixamo, you're going to log in, create an account, whatever you have to do to get in here. And basically we're going to go to Upload Character, Select Character File. You're going to go to wherever you downloaded that. In my case it's here on my, uh, on my Downloads section, Mixamo UE Mannequin. It's going to upload that file for us. We're going to give it a couple of seconds. It's going to auto-rig the character and then we just have to verify that it happened the way we wanted it to. So give it a second here. This is basically being uh, reshot to clarify a couple things because there were some people who had issues with the previous version of this. So here's your auto rigged uh, preview for the character. And we're just going to say next and next. And it's going to bring my character over here. And I'm just going to toggle the follow camera on so that as I apply animations to it, if it's moving around, we can still see it. What I normally do is under the animation section I go in here I type in the word pack and I get several animations at one time so in this case I'm going to grab the shooter pack and it's going to apply the shooter pack to my mannequin. So we can go through and watch that. It's going to show all the different frames. When we have animations that we like we're going to hit download and we basically want to keep these defaults, which is FBX T posed 30 frames per second, no keyframe reduction, hit download. Once that goes through, you should have a file that shows up on your section wherever you downloaded it to. And again, in my case, under downloads, if I go in here by date modified, I should have a shooter pack. I'm going to right click that and say extract the shooter pack, which is just going to put it into a file folder for me here on my drive and in this section here for the shooter pack I now have a copy of this Mix Mixamo UE mannequin and all the different animations that went with it so what we're going to do is in our content section we're going to right click and go up here and say new folder I'm going to call this Mixamo and under the Mixamo folder I'm going to go and create another new folder I'm going to call this animations and I'm going to go back to the Mixamo folder. I'm going to pop, pop open this folder that I downloaded onto my drive. And I'm just going to grab only the mannequin and drag it into that Mixamo folder. And when I bring it in, the only thing I'm going to change is just say convert scene unit. I want to make sure that that is checked on. And just say import. And it's going to bring your mannequin in and create all these different uh, things that are associated with it. And it basically uh, only takes a second to do that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the shooter pack. And now I'm going to grab everything except for the Mixamo FBX for the mannequin. And I'm going to pull these in. I'm going to go into the animations folder and grab those and bring them in here. And now when I bring these in, it's going to ask me to pick a skeleton. So for this, I'm going to grab the Mixamo UE Mannequin Skeleton that we downloaded earlier and brought into the system. I'm going to select that, make sure that my Convert Scene Unit is on, and just say Import All. Now the reason that we're doing this is because this mannequin has the proper mapping and bone names to line up with what's inside of Unreal Engine. And it'll just make everything so much easier. We're going to hit all that and save it. Now if I double click on this, this is going to show me the uh, rifle firing animation which is applied to my skeleton that I downloaded. And we can see here that basically everything lines up, all the bones are good. And 
That should be pretty good there. So now that we have those in here, we want to go to our Mixamo skeleton, our mannequin. We're going to go to the retarget manager section. If you don't see this, there's a button up here for retarget manager to pop that up. And under the select rig option, we're going to go in here and say select humanoid rig. That'll auto map all these things. And we just want to take our preview mesh for the skeleton, which is under the preview scene settings, and hit apply to asset. And we're going to save this. We want to go to our mannequin folder under the mesh and find the UE4 mannequin skeleton. And we want to do the same thing here. We're going to select the auto rig or so select the rig for humanoid and it'll auto populate these things. Make sure that our preview mesh is saved and then save this character. Now what that does for us is it puts both of them in the same pose so that we will be able to use animations from the Mixamo character on the mannequin. This mannequin here is already rigged up with blueprints for animation and it's got the the um, WASD keys assigned and all that kind of stuff. So it's a pretty good starting point for a third person character, but you may want additional animations. This is an easy way to get them from Mixamo basically for free by using that file uh, to, to download those animations. So now that I have this, I'm going to go to my Mixamo animation section. I'm going to right click and say retarget anim assets. And I could do this to all these at once, but I'm going to do it on just one to show you and then I'll do them all. Duplicate anim asset and retarget. And I want to go here and click my UE4 mannequin skeleton. I typically prefix these with an MX underscore. Just so that I know that that was a Mixamo animation that was reassigned. This dark skeleton is our source skeleton, the one that we downloaded from my Google Drive. This is the one that came with the game when we put third party in there. And then I like to change the folder so that I'm actually going to the mannequin animation folder and say retarget. And that is going to take us into the mannequin animation folder with that MX firing rifle file. Save it. And if I double click this, I now have that same animation that we saw earlier. This is on my UE4 mannequin. Okay. And just to show you that that works with all those other ones, I'm going to do the same thing. I'll go back to animations here. I'll grab all these other ones. I'm going to right click that, retarget anim assets, duplicate anim assets. Pick the UE4 mannequin skeleton, give it an MX underscore prefix, change the directory to mannequin animations, OK, retarget, and it's going to copy all these into the mannequin animations folder. So if I go here, I now have all those. And again, I can go save all, get all these done here. And now if I double click on any of these, I'll see the same same thing here. These are all the files that I brought in. See all the MXs? He dies. This is him walking backwards, walking. And if you look here, you know, his hands and everything are all lined up properly. Some of the issues with the earlier one is that this was like disconnecting bones because the character that I had selected was the Y-Bot skeleton previously. And it doesn't have the same bone structure in it, so it was remapping the hands to like a an invisible forearm bone or something. I don't know exactly, but it's something like that, you know. But this basically lines everything up so that you have all your animations here. And this will work with a variety of files. So if I go back to Mixamo, I could grab any other set of files in here. Like, for example, let's do our scary zombie pack. If I apply that to my Mixamo UE mannequin, I can do the same thing. I can download this now, keep all of my defaults here, download this. I'm going to have a file on my drive, which is going to be called Scary Zombie. Uh, I can go down here and get that Scary Zombie pack off of my downloads. And where's it at? Scary Zombie Pack. I'm going to go right click and say Extract to Scary Zombie Pack. I'll go down here to my Scary Zombie Pack folder that was just created. And since I already have the mannequin in there, all I really need is these zombie animations. And I would pull these in. And I'm going to stick them under my Mixamo animation folder. If I wanted to create a new folder in here, I could just right click and say New Folder. And I'll say Zombie for that go and grab all these scary zombie pack animations drop them in here I'm going to target the Mixamo UE mannequin skeleton make sure my convert scene is on say import all 
We're going to let that run for a second. Taking a little while longer than the last one. I don't know why. My machine's running a little bit slow. I apologize. But I just wanted to say real quick, you know, I apologize that that other process didn't work out the way that it should have. And I also want to point out that once you upload this other mannequin that I'm going to have in my drive for you, I would recommend going through and grabbing all these files that you want all at one shot. Just get a whole bunch of them and get them ready, uh, get them ready to go because you're going to probably find a, a great deal of things in there that are useful for almost any game type that you're building. I don't know why that's taking so long. That's a lot. There really weren't that many files there. I guess they're probably fairly large size though. Crazy amount of time. If I would have known it was going to take that long, I probably would have done something different for you. Sorry about that. Just bear with me. Also, I'd like to thank, uh, say thanks for the feedback on the video um, and pointing out that there was an issue there so that I can go and come up with some way to solve that for you. It's my intention just to make sure that you have things that work. And again, I'm not a, a professional educator and I don't work for any of these companies. I'm just navigating my way through this. So... I see processes that other people explain. I want to try and go and simplify them a little bit if I can. And sometimes they don't work out the way that I thought that they would. So anyway, I brought these in. <coughs> Pardon me. I'm say save all. So if I just double click this, you'll see this running crawl animation on here. And we can see how that looks. Okay. And then we can go in here and grab. I'll just grab all these. And I'm going to say retarget animation assets and duplicate. Same thing, pick the UE4 skeleton. And these I'll call MX underscore zombie underscore. Change the folder. Mannequin animations. OK. Retarget. And I'll just let it go through the process of reshooting all those over to the other skeleton. When I go into the mannequin animations, I now have those in there as well. Hit save all. And anything here that says MX Zombie, I can just pull it up. And we'll see. There's a zombie attacking someone and biting them. And so on and so forth. Any one of these animations here should play. There's a zombie dying. No, oh, zombie idle, rather. Here's a zombie dying. Here's a neck bite. But you can see that the... The hands and all the bones and everything are in the right spot. So hopefully this solves your problem if you had a, an issue with the earlier tutorial. Uh, again, thanks for watching. My name's TC Mabe. Like, follow, and subscribe for more information. And if you decide to give the video a thumbs down, do me a favor and le at least leave a comment so I understand what the issues are so I don't have to dig through a bunch of stuff to try and help you out. Okay? Thanks again, and have a great night. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.